Next, we will learn to write about fire safety. When we talk about safety, what do we mean? We say safety means free from danger. We are going to write about fire safety. Almost fires occurs in the house, isn't it? So, to keep say one safe means to keep one free from danger. Danger knocks at our door anytime. So, we got to be alert. Now, danger strikes a person unexpectedly. Suddenly it happens. And what do we call that? We call that an accident. So, the fire accident occurs in our home. Now, this fire accident may cause injury. It may damage the person's skin or whatever. Such accident can be avoided. We must learn to avoid what happens in our home. We can take control. So, safety, fire safety, we will learn to write about a short composition of fire safety. How to keep ourselves safe when there is fire, what to do, how to avoid all that stuff. Okay, fire safety. What is the meaning of safety? To keep oneself safe. Okay. Now fire, it's a very important element. We use it from day to day. Fire is very impo important for us, useful for us. It can be creative fire, destructive fire. So, fire safety. How to use fire safely? Fire is very important for us from day to day. Fire. is an important fire is an important element in our day to day life Fire is an important element in our day-to-day -day life. It can be used both for destructive and for creative purposes. And so what must we do? We must use fire safely. Learn to use fire safely. So we must learn To use fire safely. Must be safe. You must be safe. At now, how come fire accidents occur? Okay? Now, fire accidents occur when there is in the kitchen, when there is a leakage of gas. Now, we are talking about fire safety. How fire comes. Now, leakage of cooking gas in the kitchen. We must be very careful. Leakage Leakage of cooking gas Cooking gas, that is one. Okay, we must learn to use fire safely. So, when there is a leakage of cooking gas, leakage of cooking gas can cause accident, can cause accident. That is number one, leakage of cooking gas can cause accident. What else? Electrical short circuit can cause accident. Another one is electrical electrical short short circuit that 
is another one electrical today then crackers falling on the falling of crackers falling of crackers what else mishandling of any inflammable items crackers and mishandling handling of any in items all this can cost you now we said leakage of we are talking about we must learn to use fire safely now to keep ourselves safe we must know what will not keep you safe leakage of cooking gas can cause accident electrical short circuit falling of crackers and mishandling of any inflammable item all this can cause small or major accident so keeping safe now we have to take certain precautions to keep us safe when there is a cooking gas what must we do we must not play with the matches okay we must not play with the matches and uh, after lighting a candle we must put up the put out the gas thing we must be careful in bursting crackers we must not play in the kitchen so we are going to now we must learn to avoid fire you must learn to use fire safe now leakage the windows need to be the windows in the kitchen windows in the kitchen need to be opened out in case of leakage the windows in the kitchen need to be opened out in case of gas leakage next next we said electrical do not touch we must be careful when there is a short circuit so what must we do we must not our hand should be dry so wet hand wet hand should not touch wet hand should not touch any wire the next one is falling of crackers so what must we do while bursting crackers we need to be cautious be careful be cautious be cautious while bursting while lighting a cracker while lighting a cracker you be very careful then the last one is do not play in the kitchen so you know there's gas there you know there is a wire short circuit the crackers you are playing with the the inflammable items are there in the kitchen so try do not play in the kitchen do not play children should not play in the kitchen that will avoid that will keep you safe do not play in the kitchen okay what else you need to do in case in case you got burnt what will you do you must remove the burnt clothes so when you get into trouble in the kitchen you first you must not play 
Now you need to open out the window, all that. Now suppose you got, bur you got burned, what aid, what first aid you will go for to help yourself? The first aid, the aid we use, first aid in case. One gets burnt, remove, remove the burnt clothes, remove the burnt clothes. What else you will do? Run cold water, run cold water. Over the burn, next, clean the area, make it dry, clean the area, make it dry, and finally, Dry. The next thing, put a bandage over the bone or burn and put a bandage over the burn. Finally, take the patient to the doctor. Finally, take the person. Take the person to the doctor. Okay, we are talking about safety. How to keep oneself safety? Huh? Fire safety. Fire is happening. Short circuit or cylinder or something happened to the gas or the inflammable items are there. In that case, safety for us. Fire is an important element. In our day to day life, fire is there. Fire from the light, fire from in the kitchen, fire bursting crackers, in all these areas. How to remember to keep ourselves safe? We must learn to use fire safely. How? Leakage of cooking gas. What must we do? Children should not play there. They can cause accident over, so be careful. But if there is a leakage, you open up the windows. Electrical and short circuit. Electrical, short, and the electricity. There's a short circuit, you see something bursting, don't go and touch it with the white, with the wet hand. Falling of crackers on people or clothes. When the crackers are being burst or burned or lit, we must take care of how we do it. Mishandling of any inflammable item, oil or any greasy items when you are burning, you must be careful. Now, in case of cooking gas, the windows in the kitchen need to be opened out. In the case of gas leakage, wet hands should not touch any wire, loose wire or any wire so that you can avoid any short circuit accidents you can avoid. Be cautious while lighting a cracker or where the cracker is going. You got to be very, very alert. Lastly, do not play in the kitchen. Now, in all these four cases, supposing you get burnt, what first aid? The first aid in case of in case one get burned, what must we do? Remove the burned clothes. Two, run cold water over the burn. Three, clean the area and make it dry and put on a bandage over the burn. Finally, take the patient to the doctor. Doctor will do the needful. So keep yourself safe from all these. But in case a burn happens, you remove the clothes, clean the burn, put a bandage. Lastly, take the person to the doctor.